everybody it's Brett and uh, in this video we're just gonna take a look at how to burn DVDs rip DVDs rather to your Mac this method also works on Linux and PC so we're just gonna use an application called handbrake and it can be found at handbrake.fr and uh, if you go over to the download section I'm using the I believe I'm using the 64-bit Intel edition for Mac OS 10.6 you see they have one for Ubuntu, Windows, Fedora, and uh, some other source code. So uh, let's go just take a look at the application itself. As you launch the application, it will ask you to look for a volume on your Mac. So I'm just going to pop in a DVD here. I'm entering my DVD right now. And this is just a regular DVD. It's not a Blu-ray or it's not anything fancy. And any minute now it should pick up in the handbrake interface. And here it is, the Endless Summer. And just if you rip a lot of DVDs, it might be useful to uncheck in system preferences the option to auto-launch DVD player when a DVD is inserted but I don't rip that much and uh, I don't condone ripping or stealing copyright I'm just showing you how to do this so we'll click on the Endless Summer which is the name of the DVD and you can even go into the further video TS folder and pick the biggest dot VOB but I'm just gonna click on the volume itself click open and it will scan in the new source all the different titles and in my case it only has two titles but usually on a feature film it'll say you know 21 titles, 12 titles. So you can choose some different options here. Make it an MP4 file, an MP MKV. Optimizer for the web, iPod 5th gen support. And if you're really into all this different video and audio things, you can set up different settings and then save them in the presets menu. And there's even presets for Apple devices. So if you have an iPod, an iPhone, or iPod Touch, an Apple TV. I usually just choose normal because I'm doing it usually to my computer. So all we have to do is click start, and uh, once it's over, you will have a .mp4 in your destination path. So in my case, I chose Brett and then desktop, and then it'll make the title the Endless Summer M4V. And you can change that name if you want, even after you're done. So don't worry about that. You can even preview on picture settings, and. Uh, set up how you want it to be exact and you can also uh, preview the window and this is what the video quality will look like and keep in mind this is an older video this is from the 60s so the quality on this one is going to be that great but if you're scanning in that video from Netflix that you just got that's new it should look pretty great if you guys have any questions uh, just comment down below or send me a PM and uh, hope you guys subscribe rate comment and uh, thanks for watching I'll talk to you guys soon